Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting math problem today. We have a plus 2ab plus b equal to 8 and from here we need to find our a plus b. As you can see right here we have a and b in one equation. So it's not like a classic maybe quadratic cube equation that we really quick can, can solve it with formulas. Right here we have a, b, so two variables in one equation. This equation calls the Diophantine equation, so this is the Diophantine equation problem. Okay, how can we solve it? The best way how can we solve this Diophantine equation is to factor this equation where can we have this a, b and we know this value of this uh, expression. So the first equation we know all, all values, we have all variables, so we need to factor it. How can you factor it? There are no like a general method how can you do this. You need to to, the, to this problem, so we have a plus 2ab plus b, and you need to look to this, it's only up to you how can you factor it. I want to show you my approach, my tricky method right here. Okay, we have this expression. Let's factor from these two expressions, so a and plus 2ab, let's factor, I guess, let's factor a, yeah? If you factor a, as a result in parentheses, we will have like 1 plus 2b, yeah? plus b equal to 8. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. Let's factor from these parentheses once more, but factor 2. If we factor 2, we will have 2a right here, and in parentheses we will have like 1 half plus b, plus b. And the same as right here, plus b equal to 8. Yeah, we have this, this expression. Okay, what are we going to do next? Why I write this? Because right now I want to show you a really good trick right here. Take a look closely. I want to add to both sides. Let's add to both sides one half. If you add one half to the left hand side, we will have 2a right here one half plus b and right here plus b plus one half and I want to write it in parentheses equal to 8 plus one half. Yeah, so this is maybe the main trick right here I want to show you because I just add to both sides, I add this one half. Yeah, from here I add it and to, to right and to left hand side. We need it to add it to both sides because we need nothing change and we add it to both sides. Okay, I hope you understand this step. And take a look closely. Right here we have this expression, so I write it in the beginning, so to a and in parentheses one half plus b, yeah. And right here we will have plus 1, I write it as 1 in parentheses, and in these parentheses we will have like 1 half plus b, b plus 1 half, doesn't matter, so I write the same, so b plus 1 half. Let's add it, on the right hand side we will have like 8 plus 1 half, this is 17 half, I write it as in this way, 17 half. Okay, I hope you, you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, try to like pause the video and look at this real quick. Three lines right here and I hope you, you will understand what I do right here. Just add in to both sides one half and factor to a from this one. So nothing hard, I guess. Okay, what do you have right here? b plus one half or one half plus b, doesn't matter. This is addition. And right here b plus one half. So we can easily factor it. So b plus one half. This is in first parentheses. And in second parentheses, 2a plus 1, yeah? 2a plus 1 equal to 17 half. 17 half is not a good number because like we need like an integer, yeah? Whole number, yeah? So it's really good because this is number if you're talking about fraction. So if you multiply both sides by 2, we will have like 2b plus 1 in first parentheses and in the second we will have like 2a plus 1. So we just multiply by 2 these parentheses because we have like 2 right here. We multiply on the one parentheses, we don't need to multiply it in, the, in these parentheses once more, equal to 17. Okay, this is maybe the final, final solution to this because we factor this problem. So this is maybe the main difficulties in these lines. If you understand these lines, you can easily understand the next, the next step. Okay, 2b plus 1 to a plus 1 equal to 17. Two numbers. This is our first number and this is our second number. What about this 17? This is a prime number. So there are not like a, a really big amount of, of combinations right here. We have 17. What about 17? Prime number. We will have like first combination 17 times 1 and second combination 1 times 17. So two combinations right here. And let's try to solve it. Let's try to solve it real quick. Let's try to solve it. We need to find a plus b, yeah? So from here we need to find a plus b. So it doesn't matter, we need to find a plus b. 
So let's go, let's try to solve it. What will have as a result? We will have that our a plus b equal to, right here we will have like first situation 17 times 1 and 1 times 17. Yeah, so as a result b equal to 8, a equal to 0, and as a result a plus b equal to 8. This is our first first variety of this answer. And the second one, if we are talking about negative 1, so we can write it as negative, so minus 17, minus 1, and minus 1, minus 17. So we need to work with negative values. And if we have a negative, so minus 17 times minus 1, then we have that b equal to minus 9, and a equal to minus 1. And if we add it, we will have a plus b equal to minus minus 10. So we find two values, two combinations to this, this problem. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you do, please leave a like, write any comment, write your suggestion in the comment as well. And write you, what do you think about this, this approach. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.